I just don't know what to eat anymore. I think it's been a long time since I did a uh, mukbang. Today I have six eggs in pasta sauce and a melted cheese on top. And I just boiled the pasta sauce and I cracked six eggs inside and then I put a whole bag of cheese on top. So I guess it's kind of like I don't think you can consider it keto because of the amount of tomatoes. It's my only meal of the day. And it tastes good. It kind of tastes like pasta. I, I don't know what to do anymore. I uh, have slipped from Keto, I guess. I'm definitely a whole foodist. But, you no, know, sometimes I get bad and I find discounts. It helps not going shopping, and COVID makes that easy. But it doesn't really because Walmart still stays open. But if I go. And I find a great deal on some pastry or pies, and it's a special occasion or something. Like we're just over the holidays, right? So you kind of make excuses for that, but then once I get that taste, I can't stop. So, and on top of that, I was listening to some podcasts, and some of those people are vegan. They talk about being vegan, and I kind of agree with it, but I also don't agree with it. Because I kind of think vegan is kind of hypocritical. Because, and I've said this in videos before, because there's tiny things that you don't see. Like there's bugs in your lettuce, and just because you don't see it doesn't mean that that life isn't valuable. And there's tiny little microorganisms and stuff. Where do you draw that line? Of what life has more value? Mmm, cheese balls. Tomato sauce always stains my lips. And then I think eggs that I could just be a fruititarian. And eggs. Because that sounds like the closest to caveman eating. You would just find raw eggs and eat them. And then you pick the fruit off the trees. But I like keto. It keeps my uh, fat percentage down. But it doesn't keep it down enough, to tell you the truth. I didn't get as low doing it for like, I don't know, maybe it was a year. It doesn't get as low as I'd want it to get. Mmm. This is good. I let it cool down. It's probably not uh, cool to eat out of a pot. Uh-oh.
but I think my mukbangs are more about the talking than the eating. Nobody wants to see somebody eat eggs and tomato sauce. Oh yeah, and there's cheese. The whole dairy debate. But from my keto experiments, I seem to be able to eat cheese and not have anything to worry about. I think my skin is going to glow if I eat more fruit, though. And then I could just eat berries, too, because of people think that that's okay and they have a lower glycemic index. Man, I hope I didn't make too much noise from the tray clicking on the computer. So I've been doing just a little bit of everything. What I've been trying to do is not eat as much because I eat way too much food, more than I definitely have to. So I have talked about that before here, that I saw some guy say, define that voice as something gross, gross animal, and I called mine a cockroach. And then I just tell it to shut up, and that it can't have it, it's greedy and disgusting. And then that works. And this guy also says to squeeze your belly fat, or where you have fat, where you don't want it to be. I don't want to have, uh, is that too much fat? I want to have, I want to have this much, this much fat everywhere. And I know I got more of it here, and then usually you get more of it here. I mean, you can see that there's not that much. And why I want this to happen, I don't know. The reason I want it to happen is because I've said this in a video before. The only time that I get jealous of other guys' physiques is when they obviously have obviously have a really low body percentage. I don't know why that is. I just think it looks better. I really have to blow my nose. There's lots of videos that I want to talk about, and there's lots of things that I want to do, like start a... I'm going to start writing things down in lists. What do they call it? Like a bullet journal? That really helps organize my time. I thought this was going to be a whole other video, me talking about my daily what I do in a day I think I will do a COVID day in the life but it the time just goes by so quickly and I have oh man my nose is really starting to run I don't want to wipe it on so gross but every time I eat that's what happens I don't want uh, yeah, I just making making my bed is like the whole day. Like they say, at least make your bed, and I do it. And I, <laughs> I put on a lot of pillows. I have a lot of blankets, so it, it takes quite a while just to do that. And I like to put up one video. I need to put up one video a day here too. So that it, consistency really does bring out the people. And people want to see a day in the life of COVID. And what's what's the other one? No, there's another. Oh yeah, I want, uh, the other video is why people hate me. 
which is a great video. I know I said not to be negative, but I, I, I don't want to be, it's not really about being negative, but I'm, it's so I will identify and see how ridiculous it really is by saying it out loud. But people, but I won't. I know because when I'm being negative, I'm actually being a realist because I've been so positive about myself my whole entire life. And I shouldn't have been as positive as I was. Because where did it get me? I love you. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Sorry if you don't like mukbangs. I know some people don't. I have things dripping from my nose, though. I have to get it clean. Love you.